maybe a lot of the younger fans don't realize Dickie's contribution to the history of the Allman Brothers. He wrote the majority of, of the material. Four or five year hiatus, whatever it was we took with Dickie wanted to retire. Now we're back to the Dickie Betts band. It's really gratifying to be able to play with my father on stage again. You know, I think he's one of the greatest guitarists of all time. It was just the best thing I've ever seen. And uh, Dickie Betts led it. He was leading the whole thing. I would listen to you know, at the Fillmore East, and I knew it there was a really special quality about that music. But I never thought of my dad as anything other than my dad. I mean, we all love each other so much, and it's a really great group of musicians. Whenever any of us get to play with my dad, it's a, a great, cherished experience. get a chance to hear the man that wrote the compositions playing them the way that he wants to hear them. It's nice playing with him and getting to breathe life into that music and keep it going. You know, he's a great songwriter, he's a great guitarist, he's a great stylist, he's an innovator, you know, he's, he's a true artist and uh, I'm happy that he's that he's out there doing his thing. You know? His music, his songs, you know. Uh, there's nothing like it playing with someone that I've admired and been going to see my whole life. Just get out and see him if you're a fan. Come on out and, uh, you know, have a good time with your old buddy Dickie. Thank you so much.